Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to Zema. Zema.ai is a new company which is an open source cryptography company that builds state-of-the-art fully homomorphic encryption solutions for blockchain and AI. And there is a lot more to it. From data breaches and surveillance of cloud applications to blockchain, smart contracts where everything is public, doing things privately online is becoming very complicated and hard. The only way to solve this is to make everything encrypted end-to-end -end regardless of where the application is running. And the only way this can happen is if homomorphic encryption becomes mainstream. Now, Zema are a community of passionate people working on solving some of the biggest privacy and security challenges. When they think about how to build their team, they first think about their culture. And it seems, and whatever my research is, the company is quite good and passionate about all this cryptography. Now, you can read more about it on their website and I will drop the link in video description. Coming back to Zema, as I mentioned, it's a cryptography company that builds state-of-the-art FHE solutions. FHE stands for Fully Homomorphic Encryption or FHE for short. It is a technology that enables processing data without decrypting it. This means companies can offer their services without ever seeing their users' data and users will never notice a difference in functionality. Now the problem which it is trying to solve is quite interesting. Look at this diagram. Right now, we encrypt our data when we send it out and then when we get the response, it is already encrypted. But normally when the data is processed at the destination or at the edge, it is not encrypted. And that is where most of the breaches these days are happening. So what we need here is a fully encrypted end-to-end -end system and that is what fully homomorphic encryption does. Because data is still being stolen because it is not encrypted during the processing. Now, there are a lot of numbers out there because when the breach happens, according to a survey, it takes around 277 days that a company to identify a data breach. Also, the global average total cost of a data breach in last year, 2023, was 4.45 million US dollars. Also, 85% of breaches that involved data stored in the cloud during the processing. So that's huge. And that is where, as I mentioned, this FHE or fully homomorphic encryption comes handy. With data encrypted both in transit and during processing, everything they do online could now be encrypted end to end, not just sending messages. And that is very, very beneficial. Thanks to homomorphic encryption, now you can use your favorite online services without revealing any of your personal data. From your point of view, the service don't change. You can use it as you always have, but from the server point of view, everything is encrypted. No company, government or hacker can ever see your data. I'm not sure about the legal implications or your data governance rule of your country, but it is sounds so cool and so decentralized, so blockchain. Now, there are a lot of use cases here. This can be used um, in preventive medicine. This can be used in facial recognition and a lot of other things. Now, let me show you another diagram from their website, which is quite cool. Now, if you look at this diagram, you can see that first Zema.ai with, with just HTTP, there is no encryption at all. And second one, data is encrypted in, tra in transit but not while processing, but with Zema.ai, data is encrypted not only from end-to-end, -end, but also in the processing. So how cool is that? So this is a quick overview of Zema. They also have a GitHub repo because it's an open source tool. You can go to their website and see and read further about it. One great thing about it is that it combines both blockchain and AI to accomplish this, as you can see here. So I'm very, very keen to know how this matrimony between blockchain and AI is going to evolve. Let me know your thoughts in the comments because people are still burnt by blockchain and all that crypto stuff. So it is good to see that at last there is some use case and while combining both AI with blockchain, something can be done. 
So read through it. Let me know your thoughts if you think this is workable. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network. Thanks for watching.